Welcome to this tutorial on Angular Multi Applications. I'll be using Angular version 7 for this tutorial. In this video, we'll be combining Angular Multi Applications in one single application. For me, this came in mind when I started thinking of subdomains on one of my Angular applications. Luckily, Angular supports multi applications. With Angular multi applications, you are able to manage several projects within a single application. I'll show you how you can do that. I will also show you how to add libraries like Angular Material to all of the projects. I'll even show you how I managed to get Universal to work in multi Angular applications. To start, I'll generate an Angular default application using ng new and the name of our project. In this case, I will use domain and I'll also specify what style sheet we should be using for this application and I will say SCSS. And I'm just going to hit enter. Now our application has done generated. Let's go ahead and start our development server. We do that with ng serve and just hit enter. As you can see, our default application is running at path 4200 localhost. Let's open that in the browser and check to make sure our default application is working just fine. Okay, so everything seems to be working well. You can see here it says welcome to a domain, which is the name of our project. Um, next, we are going to go ahead and add the Angular Material Library to our default application. To do that, I'm going to open a new terminal and here I'll just simply go ahead and type ng add, add angular material and I'll hit enter. We have successfully added material design to our application. But first, let's check to make sure that it's working. To do that, I'm going to go to our app folder here and I'm going to go into app.component.html and I will simply add a material designed button. With color primary. And I'm going to go ahead and save that. What I need to do next is to import the module for material button. So I would go here and I would do uh, mat button module. And I should import that. Import mat button module form at angular material. Let's save that and check in a browser to make sure everything is working fine. As you can see, we have a material design button from the Angular Material Library, which has been successfully added to our default application. Now, what we are going to do next is to generate a new application within this application. To do that, we are going to simply go back to the terminal and I'm going to open a new terminal here. And what I will do is I will run ng generate application and we have to specify the sub project name in our case I'm going to use sub domain and I also want to add a prefix 
and for me that would be sub and I will also go ahead and specify that it should generate a routing and also the style sheet should be size it says our sub project has been successfully added and files like the pa uh, package that JSON has been updated. Now, what I need to do is um, let's look at the project structure, like the folder structure of our application. Now, if you look here, we have our default application. And in our default application, we have files such as the app.component.html, the app.module, the tiers, and if we close that, let's go here. There's a new folder that Angular CLI went ahead and generated. It's called Projects. And in this Projects folder, we have our sub-applications or subdomain. And here we have the subdomain application with its own source folder. And within it, we have an application. It also has its own routing, its own, its own app.component.html. And it also has its own app.module.ts. So now we have two applications within just one uh, Angular application. Let's also check the Angular.json uh, file. In the Angular.json file, you realized there is here, we can see here, you can see projects. And it specifies now our projects within within this projects array. We have the main domain that is our default project. And if you look next, we are going to have our new sub application in this array, and that should be somewhere here. So here we have our sub domain. And at the end of the file, it specifies our default project, which is the domain, the domain project. Now, with that, let's start a new development uh, server to make sure that our sub application is working well. To do that, I'm going to go ahead here and run ng serve. And this time, I have to specify what project and I will specify project is sub domain and I also want to specify what part it should be running on uh, and I'll put port 4300 and I'll hit end. our sub application has finished building and we have a local server running at part 4300 local host let's open that to check our sub application as you can see we have a new application and here it says welcome to sub domain it's running at part three uh, 4300 while our main or default project is running at part 4200 so we have two different applications running at once uh, from our Angular C application. Okay, so what is different between these applications now is that we have material design, which has been added to our main uh, application, but while in the subdomain, we don't have that. What I want to do next is to add a library to our subdomain application. To do that, I'll go back down here and I'm going to open a new terminal. In this new terminal, I'm going to add Angular Material Design to our subdomain application. I'll simply run ng add at Angular Material. And this time we have to specify what project they should uh, be added to, and that will be sub domain. Okay, now material has been successfully added, and files in our sub domain uh, application has been updated.
But to make sure that material is really working in our sub application, let's go ahead and also add a material design button to our sub application. To do that, we go to the uh, projects folder and on the subdomain, the size and the app uh, folder. And here we should go to the app.component.html and add a new material design button. And I'll add a color of one. And here I will say my sub domain button. And I will just go ahead and save that. We also have to go to the app.module.ts to import the material button module. Let's save that and let's go back to the browser to check our sub uh, domain application. Um, let's wait while that load. That doesn't put. Okay, it's still loading. So let's head to the browser to check that our application. Uh, our subdomain application now has its own material button. As you can see here, we have my subdomain button. And if you go to the main uh, application, we have my domain button. So we have two different Angular applications within a single app running simultaneously. Uh, we have also shown how to add uh, libraries to a multi Angular application. Uh, in the next video, I will show you how you can add Angular Universal to your multi-Angular application. See you in the next video.